Welcome. I'm Bob Burke with the Libertarian Party Movement in Pearson St. Croix. Libertarian Principle 1.0 begins like this. Individuals should be free to make choices for themselves and to accept responsibility for the consequences of the choices they make. What this principle says is that we believe people have a right to any action in their pursuit of happiness that doesn't harm any other person's equal liberty, property, or pursuit of happiness. Now while this may seem like just some broad philosophical statement, stick with me for a moment. This is our youth unemployment rate and it is at a devastatingly high level. This problem is compounded by the fact that these young adults are drowning in education, in education debt larger than any generation before. Consider this. Without finding a way to employ our youth, we risk an entire generation scarred by a lack of work ethic and skill having never found a job. The seriousness of this and the social problems that will grow out of this demographic can spell disaster. Just ask Greece who's dealing with a 60% unemployment rate amongst their youth. I want to ask a serious question to our youth who are dealing with the unemployment problem. Do you believe your employment situation will be improved by more government programs? Or that more government sponsored student loans to educate you for jobs that don't exist should be approved? Do you believe that politicians regulating internships and wages is the solution of any of your employment problems? Libertarians have some big and bold ideas that take some time to digest, no doubt, but I'll start you with one that would go a long way. Repeal the minimum wage. This law only hurts our poor and robs our youth of an entry point into the labor market. Let the grocery store hire two high school kids for $4 an hour and get experience instead of only hiring one for $8 an hour who hasn't proven a thing. And you know what? When the employee has shown that they can show up on time, that they can complete a task competently, and have proven their value at $4 an hour, they can seek the better paying jobs elsewhere in town. But good employees, as any employer will tell you, are the backbone of a successful business. And that's why employers would be foolish not to care about retaining good help. And that's done in the paycheck. The Red and Blue team wants to teach bad business owners to look like good business owners through regulation. Despite all the regulations, we've all gotten poor service at a restaurant in one night, at one time or another. Listen, if the employer doesn't want to pay to have competent help, there will be comp consequences. I won't eat there. You probably won't eat there. Libertarians want bad business owners, those not willing to pay competent help a just wage, to fail. The minimum wage just hides these people. Teach them a real lesson. Let them go out of business. With time and failure comes wisdom. Except for the red and blue team. I can't get that one. The easiest way to show wisdom is to join us February 23rd at 8 a.m. to register for the Libertarian Caucus to be held at the University of Wisconsin River Falls. The details are in the information section below. If you own a business and want the freedom to succeed again, we're here for you. If you want the freedom to fail, we're here for you. We are Liberty Valley, Wisconsin.